Good morning, everybody. I woke up today with matcha on the brain. I thought it would be fun to go on a little matcha hunt and find the best matcha local to me. So we'd like the Century City area, West Hollywood, Beverly Hills, Something's in my eyeball. It's probably because I don't know how to glue my eyelashes down. No, really. Like, how do people get the corner lash to stick down? I, I can never do it. It always pops on up. Anyway, so let's go take our cute little honeys, get in that car, and just try a few places. Let's search for some new ones and try some tried and true and compare them. And then I think it'd be fun to come home and make our own matcha and see if it's really worth spending that extra coin because we all know that getting a drink at the Starbucks or anywhere is very expensive when it comes to getting it every day. And hey, if I can make myself a better matcha than the places around me. So this is kind of like an experiment for myself and for anyone obviously who lives in LA. So let's go do it. We are in the car. So now let's go on Yelp and see what kind of matcha places I'm thinking about. I definitely want to hit up Chacha Matcha. I've had it before. I want to try Alfred's. Should we go to the tea room? My nail fell off. Oh man, it's throwing my life. Should we go to the tea room or should we go to the coffee place? Coffee place is quicker, but I, no, I feel like Alfred Tea Room is a lot more on brand with the matcha theme. So we'll go to the tea room, cha-cha matcha, and then, okay, let's see what else is there. Not San Francisco. I want Los Angeles. Ooh, where is this? Glendale. Not close. A lot of these are not close to me. Cha-cha matcha, we're going to. None of these are really that close to me. Oh, you know what I just remembered? JC Smith, she has an Instagram and a YouTube that I follow. Oh, and a TikTok. Love her content. She said that Sun Life Organics has a really good matcha and she gets extra cold cream. So we're going to add that to the list as well. Let's keep going through here. Lots of cha-cha matchas. And you know what? Let's just go to Bluestone Lane because I just tried the chai from there and it was pretty good. I've been trying to find a chai near me that I also really love. That could have been a whole entire video, but let's just do matcha instead because my favorite chai that I have ever tried around here is in Orange County called True Brew. The best chai I've ever had in my life. So we need to find the best matcha I've ever had in my life near me. Where should we go first? Blue Stone Lane, Cha Cha Matcha, Alfred Tea Room, Sun Life Organics. Sounds like a fabulous plan to me. I'm going to be all matcha'd out by the end of this video, but I'm going to have matcha for days, quite literally. Bluestone Lane and they're closed so I need to think of another place to go. <laughs> oh man. Okay, it's 3.35 on a Saturday. Has Bluestone Lane never heard of a pick-me-up drink? Because they're missing out on making some money, honey. Is there anyone taking pics of the pink wall? Ooh, Carrera. I guess I could try that place. Too late. I don't feel like stopping. There's never parking here, but you know what? I'm gonna say optimistic. Oh, Spoke too soon. Spoke way, way, way too soon. There's like seven parking spots. I'm happy. And that's what you get for having a negative mindset, Keely. Negative mindset doesn't get you anywhere. It just always proves you wrong. All right, we are on Melrose. That's super cute. There's a little Melrose sign, and it's over here next to Moon Juice. Okay, let's order. Obviously, they have the COVID set up, but I'm gonna get a small matcha with oat milk. So here it is. I got the iced matcha latte, 16 ounce oat milk, no sweetener, and it was $6.25. We have secured matcha number one. Next thing we need to do is rate this. So I'm going to rate this by the creaminess, the matcha strength, parking matters. So let's, let's give the locations parking ratings as well. I haven't had this one in a long time. I usually go for like an Earl Grey tea there. So let's see. How I feel. Oh wait, I gotta mix it up. The... I was like, that tastes just like oat milk, nothing else. You know what's funny to me? How people are still shocked that people videotape themselves here in LA. I'm like, everyone is doing it. Why are you staring at me? People are just trying to hustle. They're trying to make memories, They're trying to make money. Just keep going. You don't need to look. It's none of your business or subscribe to my channel. Okay, wow, this is not how I remembered it. Interesting. The creaminess, we're going on a five here. Three, matcha strength, 2.5. I know, I said it, that's crazy, because I love Alfred tea, but uh, maybe someone made a, a bad matcha, but this, let's take, a, take another sip. It's 
play them tonight. I'm gonna save this so I can start comparing it to, we're gonna go to Chacha Macha next. I'm gonna write this down. Parking, I usually would give that a zero, but today, five out of five. We're just basing it off of today. I also love this restaurant near here called Croft Alley. So good, the best tuna melt ever. Price, typical. Pretty expensive, but typical. As I wait for my matcha, the ambiance here is a gen. I mean, it's certainly a vibe. I kind of feel like I'm in Miami about to drink my matcha. It's cute and all the doors are open, so it's a nice like indoor-outdoor feel. Here is the matcha. It is a matcha with oat milk. I'm not sure if they put sweetener in it. They didn't tell me or ask me if I wanted sweetener, so let's taste test. So I haven't sat outside near people in forever, but I have this corner all to myself, so why not sit here and enjoy the ambiance a little bit since I had to pay for parking. The matcha strength, so much stronger than Alfred's tea. I think this is a four out of five for matcha strength. Creaminess, four. It was six dollars and two cents, so it's actually cheaper than Alfred's, which I thought Chacha Matcha was more expensive. And I didn't have trouble parking, which is shocking, because last time I came here, I couldn't find parking for the life of me. So I'd give the parking a four out of five, because I did have to walk. I got my steps in, so it didn't really matter. I'm also adding sweetness to the rating categories, and this one is less sweet than the other one, even though there was no sweetener in the other one. i say this one, which I don't want super sweet, so I'd say I would give this a this is like a three out of five for sweetness, which I actually like, which would bring it up to like a four out of five on my list. I'm liking this. It's nice to be out and about, even though I'm by myself. It's fine, I'm used to it. We have secured two matchas. I would like to at least try four. I would definitely say these are the top two most popular in LA. I don't know if it's the best. Clearly I have more to taste test, but I would say if you were in LA and someone were to say, hey, do you want to go get a matcha? They would say either Alfred's tea or Chacha Matcha because they're the most trendy, Instagrammable. I would say it is a really cool ambiance at Chacha Matcha. I would definitely want to go there with a girlfriend and like hang out. These are cold. Hold on, let me put them down. So when I was in Chacha Matcha last, I actually saw Madison Beer twice. I saw her at Chacha Matcha and then we went somewhere else and then she showed up there as well. And I was like, what are the odds? So funny, right? It's definitely a spot where you're going to see someone, I feel like, if that's what you're looking for. Gosh, I need water. I should have brought some water to wash down my palette. This person's backing out of their house and their house is beautiful. How do you afford it? What do you do? Let's get crazy and taste test something together. Pretty dang good. All right, let's go to Earth Cafe and see what they got. I don't usually get a matcha from there. It will be something new for me. I've been to Earth Cafe many a times, but typically when I get a tea there, it's like a chai or a Thai tea. Let's see what their matcha tastes like. But seriously, where are my keys? What the heck? I got it in the car. Oh my god. There they are. They fell in the crevice. All right, so let's try this matcha. I've sanitized. I've done it all. The sun is actually setting. I kind of got a late start to doing this, but oh well. I'm going to have a long night since I'm going to be all caffeinated. This matcha, you can only get one size if it was iced. So this came out to be $6.75. And this is the size difference between the chacha. And then here is the size difference between the Alfred tea. Oh, whoa, that's sweet. I mean, I don't hate it, but after having those two, was not expecting that. I guess I could have said no sweetener. Let's start with matcha strength. The sweetness is overtaking the matcha, so it's kind of hard to tell. I would say 2.5. It's really sweet. Creamiest, I have to say. This is a lot creamier than the other two. I'd give this a five out of five. It's really good. The sweetness is overpowering the matcha, but somehow it's working for me. Like I do not hate it. I definitely would rebuy it if I felt like I needed an extra sweet treat. I like it. I do really like it though. This is a very popular place to go to in LA. It became popular, well, I think it was already popular, but when I watched the show Entourage, that like really blew up Earth Cafe. 
So a lot of people would go there because of the TV show. If you haven't seen that show, it is so good. Ryan and I love it. We watch it together. It's like one of our shows that we like to watch together. I actually want to re-watch that. Um, but yeah, okay. So I've gotten like one of these little thingamajigs so that I can put all of them in here since I'm actually running out of space. And then let's go get the fourth one and wrap this up. We'll go make one at home and kind of compare the two, but I don't think mine is as good as these. <laughs> this is fun though, I'm, I'm really enjoying myself. I would go to more, but you know, time's limited, money's limited, and apparently places are closed already, so. I came here and it's closed. This is the one I was most excited about trying. Dang it, I should have looked at the time. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow and finish up the video tomorrow because I really want to compare this to the others. All right, so we are back from our little matcha extravaganza hunt. And I'm going to, like I said, wait to go try that fourth matcha. So I'm going to scoop out the ice in these so that they don't get overly watered down. Obviously some have already melted, but I just wanna make sure that I can kind of keep it to how the consistency was when I first tried them. But so far, right, no, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna wait till the very end. And then I'll make the matcha, my matcha, here tomorrow with the other one and taste test them all again. And then we are going to rank them. Oh, and I'm a thousand percent going to be drinking every single one of these. I'm just gonna space them out each day or every other day. It's not gonna go bad. So I have no problem spending the money on this. I know I will drink this. I would not do this if I was just going to sip a few of them and toss it out. It's real expensive. I mean, so far, what, this is like $21? Yeah, no, not letting that go to waste. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning! So, I went and got the Sun Life Organic Matcha Latte with coconut cream, extra coconut cream actually, and it cost me, you ready for this? $8.75 out of my budget, but it's okay. We're doing it for the vid. I think it was because I got the extra coconut whip, but that's what JC Smith said to do. So you see the top here, that's like the um, the coconut whip. I don't know if that makes a huge difference. The moment of truth, is it worth the $8? Dollars, almost nine dollars. No, no, not so much. You know, you've got to be a coconutty person, and I usually am, but this is overpowering the matcha. I think sometimes I get my, my matcha lattes with coconut milk. I kind of like just depends on how I feel. The thing about this. Could have gone without the extra coconut whip. I think that might be overdoing it. If you're a huge coconut lover, like I could totally see that's probably what she is. Um, that I can totally see why this would be a coconut person's dream. It's a whole different vibe. Okay, well, let's bring this inside. We'll compare the two, we'll make my own, and then we will crown the queen of the matcha lattes in LA. It is time to make my at-home matcha latte. What I've been doing lately is I take these cute little ice uh, molds, and I got this from Amazon. You can also get it at Michael's super cheap and always just a cute little touch. I took matcha powder and the water, like the base as you would make your matcha anyways, popped it into the molds and so I'll pop these out. You have like a cute little base and then we'll add our milk and a little more matcha and bam, let's see if it tastes just as good. Here she is, so I did a cup of oat milk, three teaspoons, it only says one on the matcha bar powder, but I like mine really strong. And then I mixed that in with, I would say about two teaspoons of water. I mixed it with my little frother here. Then I poured that over the oat milk and my little ice cubes are gonna give it a little extra matcha taste. So now let's see if I think it's better than what it was tasted. Here we are. How stinking cute are those ice cubes? I mean. The little things in life, people, just bring you joy, and it's so easy. So, here is Kale's matcha latte. I mean, that matcha powder is still pretty pricey, so I don't know how it would even out. I could probably find cheaper matcha powder, but I want the ceremonial grade because that is the highest quality of matcha powder. If you are looking to drink matcha every day, you want that to get that proper caffeine and just proper ingredients. All right, well, let me get the other ones to compare. Could be a little stronger, but maybe the ice cubes once they melt. Here we go. Here's the tray for the matcha. Thumbnail maybe? This could be the thumbnail, part of the thumbnail. Thumbnails. 
really down for me. All right, actually, let's shake these up because they were sitting in the refrigerator. See how the matcha goes to the bottom there? It doesn't mean it's bad. It's just because it separates. It just means that it needs to be blended back together because the water and milk will typically separate the matcha powder. Don't know why, not a scientist. So time to try them all. I don't wanna try the coconut one first because I just feel like it's gonna overpower everything. So let's start with the cha-cha, mine. I think I like mine better. Alfred, whoa, that's starting to taste like seaweed. I think I like mine better. Okay, Earth Cafe. Still sweet, kinda tastes like marshmallows. The little logo is so cute on the Earth Cafe. Little tea with the heart, it's so kills. All right, and then the coconut one. I think we know which one won. So time to rank these. As we all know, everyone has different taste buds, so please don't take my opinion as your own. You have to try them all because I genuinely thought this one from Sun Life was going to be my number one and it's my last one. So like I said, don't take everyone's word for it. You know, gotta live your own life. Then Earth Cafe, then I would go Alfred. Guys, I really do love Alfred. I feel like I'm bashing Alfred in this video, but I just didn't love the matcha. I love the Earl Grey milk teas. I actually prefer the matchas at the coffee store. I feel like this one just was off. Maybe they made it off. I don't know. I think going with my at-home matcha is probably more bang for my buck, right? Most likely. But that matcha powder is pretty expensive. I say it's like 25 to 30 dollars and I'm not quite sure how many lattes that matcha powder makes so, but I'm thinking that it's cheaper to make this and I think I like it better. This tastes more green but I like that taste. You know for the people who like sweet 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 and I love my sweet. When it comes to my matcha I just don't want it sweet. I think this would be the winner for you guys is the Earth Cafe. If you've never had matcha before and it kind of is like a new territory for you and you kind of want to inch your way into it. A lot of people drink matcha because they don't want to have coffee their life anymore but they still want to feel caffeinated and matcha powder is the strongest form of caffeine in the tea version you can get and there's just other health benefits to it so I would say this would probably be the winner for most people but since I like a blander kind of matcha I would go for probably the chacha or the Alfreds. I honestly would repurchase all of these I think they're all really great I certainly would pull over and get either one of them I do even like the sun life like I just have to be in the mood and like know that I'm about to have a bunch of coconut flavor and not just like a tr traditional uh, matcha. I don't tend to brag, but like, damn, this is good. So there you have it, you guys. That was my little matcha hunt in LA. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it. If you want me to do more stuff like this, we could do all kinds of different things. We could do pizza, we could do pasta. Probably need to like plan that out so I can get my workouts in, but I would love to just like go around and try to find my favorite whatever. And I also just, absolutely love driving around in LA because it's so beautiful. Well, it's Super Bowl Sunday, so I should probably get going. I'm making some chili and baked potatoes tonight, and hopefully my husband will be home so that we can watch it together. I'm excited for the halftime. The weekend is performing. I'm always a halftime kind of girl. Have a beautiful Sunday, you guys. If you haven't subscribed already, it would mean the world if you did. I really appreciate any support. Truly, truly, truly. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.